Hi, kindergarten. So for our Worldly Wise lesson um, today, we're going to start a new lesson. It's called um, Touch Blue. It's lesson nine. So we have a concept card that we learn, um, a word that we learn every time we start a new lesson. And our word for this lesson is feel. Feel. Okay. And this is the picture. So we feel things with our fingers, okay? Like this little boy. He is feeling the frog with his fingers. All right, so let's think about how different things feel, okay? So when you touch a kitten, how does it feel? Soft, right? And when you touch a rock, how does it feel? hard or bumpy or rough. So the boy in this picture is touching a frog or a toad. It looks like a toad actually because it has some bumps on its back. And what do you think that um, it feels like when he touches the toad? What do you think it feels like? Do you think it feels soft, bumpy, slimy, cold, what does it feel like? So there might be a lot of things that, t that the boy is feeling when he's touching that toad. So today we're gonna read a story about Maggie, okay? In the story, it's Saturday afternoon and she's wishing for something fun to do. Her mom tells her, touch blue and your wish will come true. Do you think it'll work? All right, we'll see. Before we start, let's go over five new vocabulary words that are in this story, okay? So, the first word is cushion, cushion. So a cushion is like a pillow, okay? A cushion's a kind of pillow um, that you might see on a chair or a couch and um, and often cushions feel soft and comfortable, okay? So say cushion. All right, the next one is touch, touch. All right, what is the girl doing in this picture? She's touching the fence. When you touch something, you put your hand on it. You're able to feel it. The girl in this picture is touching the fence to see if the paint is dry. So there's a sign right there. It says wet paint. So she's trying to see if it feels wet or dry. All right. Say touch. All right. Next word is smooth. All right, when something is smooth, it has an even surface that you can feel by touching it. So it's not rough or bumpy. All right, let's look at this. So in this picture, which part of the road is smooth? So you see this car and it's on the road and you see two different types of road. Which part of the road is smooth? The part with the car on it, right? And the rest of the road is rough or bumpy, okay? Because you see a, um, that it's not smooth, okay? There's bumps on there, and so it is rough or bumpy. But the part where the car is on, that is smooth. So say smooth. All right, next word is metal. Metal. All right, what do you see in this picture? A chain. The chain is made of metal. Metal is strong and it's a strong, hard material. Gold, silver, steel, iron, brass, and copper are all kinds of metal. Okay, so say metal. All right, our last word, silky. Silky, look at the dog in this picture. 
Do you think its fur feels soft or rough? Looks soft, right? When something feels soft and smooth, we can say it is silky. Okay, it feels like the cloth called silk. All right, so this dog has a silky coat. Let's say silky. All right, so now we're gonna turn to pages 64 and 65 in your book. Okay, 64 and 65 in your Worldly Wise book. All right, and we're gonna be looking at picture number one. So I'm gonna read the story. Okay, it's called Touch Blue. And when you hear the words that I've gone over, cushion, touch, smooth, metal, or silky, you're going to give me a thumbs up, okay? So we're gonna look at this picture first. Look at picture number one. All right. It was a rainy Saturday morning. Maggie and her mother sat curled up on the cushions of the couch in the den. Maggie was bored. There's nothing to do, Mama, she complained. Why don't you do a puzzle? You got a new one for your birthday, Mama said. Maggie got up and stretched. I don't feel like doing a puzzle, she said. I want to play with someone. How about Diego? I'm sure he'd love for you to play blocks with him. No, I mean a friend. Mama, someone my own age. Well, maybe you should call Jasmine and invite her over. That's a great idea. I hope she's home. I know her phone number by heart, Maggie announced. Touch blue and your wish will come true, her mother reminded her. Maggie had heard this old saying before. She stopped to touch the blue table as she picked up the phone. All right, why did Maggie touch the table? Do you remember why did she touch the table? So I want you to think of that question and part of your assignment um, for today is gonna be answering these questions that I'm gonna give you. There's two questions. So try to think back and remember, why did Maggie touch the table? All right, so let's go to the next page. We're gonna look at picture number two right here. Okay, picture number two. All right. Hello, Jasmine answered the phone. Hi, Jasmine, it's Maggie. Can you come over today? Oh, hi, Maggie. Let me ask my dad. Jasmine said something to her dad that Maggie couldn't hear. Maggie, my dad wants me to stay home because I hurt my wrist yesterday. Why don't you come here? And we can play with Jack, my new puppy. That was fine with Maggie's mother, but poor Diego always wanted to be included in everything. He tugged on Maggie's sleeve and said, Diego, go too. Diego, go too. Don't cry, Diego. I'll be back soon, Maggie comforted Diego. Maggie couldn't wait to play with Jasmine's new puppy. Maggie also liked going to Jasmine's uh, house because Jasmine had the coolest collection of dress-up things. Maggie loved to play dress-up. When Maggie arrived at Jasmine's house, the front door opened and Jack jumped to greet her. Hi, Jack, Maggie said, as she gently stroked his smooth fur. So question, second question. What did Maggie do when she met Jack? So think about the answer to that question. And when you do your um, activity, uh, answering these questions later, um, you can go back and um, tell me your answer. So. What did Maggie do when she met Jack? All right, so now we're looking at the last picture where they're playing dress up. After they played with Jack for a while, Jasmine asked, what else do you wanna do? How about 
dress up, suggested Maggie. The girls ran to Jasmine's room and opened the trunk of dress up clothes. Both girls dug for treasures. Maggie pulled out a silky blue gown that she rubbed against her cheek. There was a cowboy hat decorated with sparkling jewels and hard leather cowboy boots too. Fuzzy mittens, smooth wings, a gold medal crown, sticky face paints and glossy lipsticks filled the trunk. Maggie handed the blue gown to Jasmine. Try this one on. My mother says, touch blue and your wish will come true. Jasmine pulled the dress over her clothes. I love this one. It's so fancy. Make a wish, said Maggie. Jasmine thought hard. Suddenly the door burst open and Jack scampered into the room. Did you wish for Jack? asked Maggie. Jasmine laughed. I did. Jack sniffed around and stuck his nose in the dress up trunk. He picked up an old powder puff with his teeth and tossed it up in the air. The girls giggled. I think Jack wanted us to include him in the fun too, said Jasmine. Jasmine picked up the cowboy hat and put it on Jack's head. There, you can play dress up too. Jack barked a tiny puppy bark and the girls laughed all over again. All right, so the two questions again are, why did Maggie touch the table? And what did Maggie do when she met Jack? All right, so after you do these, after you answer those questions, then turn the page, and we're gonna do the back page, okay, page 66, and you're going to look for the three pictures that go with the story that are all the way in the back of your book, okay? And you're gonna cut them out and you're gonna put them in order, in the order that they happen in the story. So you're gonna put them in order, what happened first or at the beginning, what happened in the middle of the story and what happened at the end. So you go all the way back here all the all the way to page 105 and you're going to cut out these three pictures at the top and they're the pictures that told the story so you're going to think about which one happened first or at the beginning which one happened in the middle and which one happened at the end so you're going to lift up the page and cut them out and then glue them on page 66 in the correct order don't turn back to the story page to find the answer. You need to remember. So it's a comprehension page, trying to remember what the story was about and glue them here. And then once you're done gluing them here, take a picture and send it to me. Okay? All right, boys and girls, good job. I'll